2005, I opened the very first Freshie location, and my idea back then is no different than it is today, and that is, the more convenient and the more affordable we make healthy eating, the more likely somebody will choose healthy over what's historically been the path of least resistance. And that concept is really what's driven our growth over the last decade. Since starting Freshie, I have literally done it all. I opened and managed the very first restaurant. I did menu innovation. I remember there was a time that I didn't think I could ever leave the cash register because nobody could work the cash faster than I could. But most importantly, what I've done is built an incredible team who are now business partners and owners as we've become a public company. While we are a young company, we're not a startup anymore. And we've been doing this for 12 years, and we've had shareholders in the company for about 12 years. And to avail them of some liquidity was something that was just really important to me. And so you could do an IPO, or you can do private equity. And what I thought is, for the long-term vision of what we're trying to build at Freshy, measured in decades and not years, the public company shareholder would avail us of that long-term vision greater than, say, a private equity partner who really thinks in five to seven year increments. And one of the greatest pros is that now my 60 colleagues, as well as hundreds of our franchise partners around the world, they now become my business partners. They became shareholders in the Freshie brand. And philosophically, that was really important to me, to align the interests of everybody uh, that's really coming and putting so much energy into driving the Freshie mission every day. As we prepare to ring the opening bell, and become a publicly traded company. I speak for the entire team when I say thank you for all of your support through this process. The IPO process is very interesting. The Roadshow was an amazing uh, journey because it gave me an opportunity to go across North America over the course of two weeks and tell the Freshy story. And it was amazing because we had what became almost 200 shareholders who wanted to actually invest in our IPO. As a Canadian company building a global brand, it was an absolute honor to begin life as a public company on the Toronto Stock Exchange, an exchange that's right here in our backyard. And I think you know, being a public equity on the Toronto Stock Exchange that's building something global, that's doing it within the consumer space, is pretty unique. Yeah. What I love about uh, the day that we rang the opening bell is within two hours of the opening of the Stock Exchange, we were back at Fresh HQ, executing on operational improvements and really, that's what's the most important thing. Driving the business every day is what will ultimately drive the long-term value creation as we become a publicly traded company.